Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here, back again with another video. Today's video, we're going to be going through another Ship My Cards mail day. Now, this is mail compiled over the past month and a half, totaling around $4,500 Aussie. Um, not everything here is for investing purposes. Some of it is for my own collection, and some of it is for my eBay store for a flip. So, um, yeah, it's always a good video just to see what I've been buying up, and I think I like to think outside the box with some of my investments and buys. So hopefully you guys take something out of this video. Um, again, a shout out to Brian Wells and his team down at Ship My Cards for their services. If anyone outside of America wants any details about their service, comment down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm happy to help out. Um, but let's just get it started. So first up, we're going to go through um, five, a set that I've actually, my first set I'm going to be trying to probably try and collect. Um, I don't think it's going to be possible for me to finish it, but, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's a hard set to definitely collect, but, um, I do like it, and, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to collect a rookie set in general, but, it's the 2018-19 Noir Jumbo Patch out of 10. I'm only trying to collect the rookies, and so far I've got 10 out of the 40. Um, so this is Wendell Carter Jr.'s one. This one was $53. Um, I've got all the prices next to me, so I can actually access them. And rather than guesstimate them. Um, so I've got four of these ones. I've got more, more no names, if anything, but Jerome Robinson um, to 10, Kevin Knox, Jacob Evans to th the third, and Omari Spellman. So I did a group deal with a bloke, and he gave them to me for $100. So yeah, the reason I probably won't be able to collect these as a set is they're just ridiculously hard to find cheap. Like uh, there's a Zaire Smith that I was trying to get, and the seller wanted 80, 80 bucks for it. And I think that's just a bit unreasonable um, for what he's done. Um, nothing against Zaya Smith, but I just don't think he's worth that price. So next up, got a Kevin Herter to 149 Prism Purple Cracked Ice. This one was $23, so a great buy there. Um, Kelly Oubre, next day auto, uh, $55 for this one. I know this was under comps, which was around 80 to 90 bucks at the time, but um, the next day autos always go for a little bit more, so hopefully a quick flip there. Uh, Bruce Brown, Silver Prism, this one was 7 bucks. DeAndre Hunter, Noir to 99. This one was $12. Um, yeah, this one went for unders as well. I think the, the seller was a bit unlucky. Isaiah Stewart, Orange Cracked Ice with a Emergent as well as a Base Prism. Um, this one was $32 Aussie. Moving, to, moving on to uh, someone I think that, you know, could break out. A bit of a, bit of a riskier one here, but he's quite cheap. And he, he does seem to pile on the stats. But Bobby Portis got this one for $8. Green Prism. Um, got a couple more base prisms of Bobby, Bobby Portis as well for $6 all up. Um, and then we got some Gaffords. And I'm really happy with the way Gafford's been playing since he's gone to Washington. He's someone I think I'll be targeting in the offseason quite cheaply. Um, this one was $18 and then this one was $15 Aussie. So um, not a bad one there. Um, and then I got, got some Bukayo Saka um, red cracked ice and a, and a base prism here. Um, this one was $60. Um, don't really know too much about him, but I'm willing to roll over some of my soccer profits that um, now that Foden, done, Foden has done a little bit well, or done quite well really, um, just rolling over into some more young prospects that I've been hearing a lot about. Um, next up, Jalen Brunson. You guys would have heard me talk about him in my cheap buy video. This one was $6, so a great buy there for a short printed card. Uh, Malik Monk, another one from that video as well. Uh, this one was $5 for a Ruby Wave. Optic Shock was four dollars here um, to 155. Another Malik Monk. This one was eleven dollars. So numbered numbered card, fast break, um, not a bad buy there. And then a Colin Sexton Dominion uh, metal card, which was thirty dollars. And this one's to forty nine. So um, hopefully this, I might even try and grade this one and see how that goes. All right. So I know I said out of the box, um, and this one is one that I've done quite well since I've bought it. But a Nikola Jokic. Um, sticker. So this is pre-rookie sticker. This is when he was back in the in Europe. So Lucas, I looked at Lucas um, pre-Dallas cards, and they were doing quite well. And I thought with Jokic, uh, just presented a great buying opportunity. So this one was sixty-one dollars, and there's six of them in here. Uh, I got this one early January. It hadn't arrived for a while because I bought it from Europe. Um, and looking at current comps right now, you can uh, you can find one of these for around seventy dollars each. So that's a huge profit right there. Um, and there's none on the, and there's only one actually on the PSA pop report. So, if you can find one cheaply and grade, which is what I'll be trying to do, um, you potentially have a low pop card on the on PSA. So, not a bad one there with um, 
Nikola Jokic will possibly, probably win uh, the MVP. Caleb Dressel, um, I've had this one in a previous mail day, but I got two more of these cards. This was $77 for two of them. Um, yeah, I, I'm just in the Olympics video on him, but definitely someone who I think is has got huge potential to break out, um, and he's got and he's got the chance to win seven gold medals. So you win seven gold medals at a single Olympic Games, and you're you're bound to go up in your in your card prices, no matter how small the sport really is. So that's that's another one. Um, I spoke about this one in a, a video, one of my earlier videos, but Phil Jackson rookie card here. Uh, this one was at a thirty-three dollars. So his rookie card. It's a beautiful design. Happy with that one there. So the next one's all lots. I won't take them all out because it'll be a massive mess. But we can see we've got the. DeAndre Aiden Optic, we've got the Herder Shock, we've got the Zv Shock, um, Grayson Allen Shocks, more Aiden stuff, and then I'm pretty sure I've got a, a, a boat boatload of Mike Conley tops rookies. So um, I've got them, I've got the totals here, but Grayson Allen, I got 20 of these shocks for $20. Uh, I got the Zv, 20 shocks for $20. Um, there's some Mo Bambas in here, five of the Optic Shocks for $10. Five of the Diallo Optic Shots for $10. Five of the Wendell Carter Jr. Optic Shots for $10. Got 20 of these Herder Shocks for $20. That's a huge, huge steal there, I reckon, because I've been able to sell these for 5 to $10 on my eBay store. So, a um, bit of a flip there. Uh, six of the Aiden Optic Rookies for uh, $15. So, happy with that one. Got four SGA Donruss cards for $15. And I got 43 of these Mike Conley tops rookies. Uh, these are 15 bucks, kid you not. Um, there's some condition issues, probably some white, whiting on the back, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely st stoked with that price, so. Moving on to the next one, I have a couple of Malik Beasley Optic Hollows. Uh, these were $15 all up. Um, yeah, he's had a bit of an injury to finish off the season, but really just rolling over profits. And I think he's going to be a solid 20 point per game scorer in the future, no matter what team he goes on. Uh, Pascal Siakam to 25 die cut. This one was $114. Um, I do like Siakam more longer term and the Raptors didn't play home at all this season. So um, obviously because of the, uh, the COVID restrictions and everything. So hopefully in the future that can work out. Um, Deshaun Watson, Concourse Select, this one was 50 bucks, um, and then Matthew Stafford to 2009, Topps Gold Rookie, this one was $115. I really like Stafford as a buy before the NFL season, because I do think um, the Rams will do well, and he's got the weapons around him to perform well, as well as the defense. Alright, so got a bunch of slabs now coming up. Um, these ones are quite cheap, so they're, they're a bit of no-name players, but I do think they can be a, a good flip in time. Um, so yeah, got... Got a Ty Jerome, Green Mosaic, PSA 9. This one is 15 bucks. Um, DeAndre Hunter, Mosaic, PSA 9. Again, $15 as well. Uh, Nicolo Malley, Blue Mosaic to 99. PSA 10. Uh, this one was $15 as well. Jalen Noel, someone I like as a cheap buy. His Prism Auto, PSA 9. This one was $25. Uh, Taco Fall. Green Mosaic NBA debut, PSA 10. This one was 35 bucks. So PSA 10 for 35 bucks um, of a rookie. I think he's a great buy. Isaiah Roby Mosaic, PSA 9. This one was $15 for the OKC Thunder. Um, shout out to TB.cards, but a beautiful card here. Terrence Davis, Red Mosaic, Red on Red. PSA 9 as well. That one was $15. And I think that's a steal because he's been actually been playing very well lately. Um, coming up next, got a PJ Washington. Uh, this is the variation, so short printed, but PSA 9. This one was $20. Um, happy with that one. I don't know how to say this guy's name, but to 125 PSA 9, this one was $20. So a numbered card, and I know he's in Cleveland right now, getting some playing time. So hopefully he can get some, you know, some chunk of minutes and put some points up, and this will be a quick flip. Uh, Lucas Samanich, PSA 9, Prism. This one was $10, so couldn't pass that up at that price. Um, I've got a few of these now, but Jonathan Isaac, um, Prism, PSA 9. This one was $25, so I do believe he'll be a great buy in the future. 
Bruce Brown, Silver Prism, PSA 9. This one is $25. I think he's going to play a great role in that um, Brooklyn Nets team come playoffs time. He's already shown a bit there, so hopefully he can do something. Triple J, Hoops, PSA 9. Again, um, this one was $25, so unders, and I just thought it would be a great buy um, for a Triple J collector. OG Ananobi, someone who's been killing it lately. Um, this one was 25 bucks for the PSA 9. Um, was able to sell one of these at 50 bucks uh, a couple weeks ago, so just really um, a good, good flipping opportunity there. So these next ones are SGC slabs. So you might have seen that they've lowered their price on their grading back to, I think it was $30 per card. So um, hopefully some more slabs coming out. Um, I'll probably will still be going to PSA, but I don't, I can't really deny the opportunity that, that there is with how cheap some SGC slabs are. Um, and bringing them towards Australia where there's hardly any, I think is a great sort of opportunity there. I wouldn't be going too heavy on it, but um, if you can get them quite cheap, then I don't see why not. Um, but got an SGC, uh, Jordan Paul Mosaic, SGC 9.5. This one was 15 bucks. Aussie. Uh, Darius Baisley, Mosaic, SGC 9.5. This one was $20. Troy B Brown Jr. Hoops to 199 SGC 9.5. This one was 10 bucks. Uh, Lucas Samanich, uh, that's... SGC 9.5, Concourse, $17 for that one. PJ Washington, uh, Premier Select, SGC 9, this one was 12 bucks. DeAndre Hunter, uh, SGC 9, Mosaic, this one was $10. Oh no, $15, my bad. Nick Claxton, SGC 9.5, Prism, this one was 20 bucks. And then a Gafford, red, white, blue, PSA, ah, uh, sorry, PSA. SGC 10, this one was 15 bucks. So 15 bucks for a 10 in this. Um, that's, yeah, I think that's quite ridiculous. There's a lot of potential for opportunity here. I'm not saying, you know, this is going to be a PSA 10, but at least, a, you know, a PSA 9, maybe BGS 9.5 price is probably comparable. Um, yeah. Moving on to some more slabs and a, um, a raw card. So DeAndre Hunter, Hyper, 15 bucks for this one. Um, I really like Hunter long term. I know he's been out injured, so people have forgotten how good the start to the season um, he had. Um, more Jonathan Isaac, uh, Optic PSA 9s. These were 25 bucks each. OG PSA 9 was 25 bucks as well. PSA 9 again, 25 bucks. 25 bucks for OG. And then a Seiku for $20. Probably a bad buy on this one because. I did resell one of these that I had, and that one was $20. So probably, probably going to break even on that one. Moving on, we have Malik Beasley, Red Mosaic, PSA 10. This one was 50 bucks, so I'm happy with this one. Knowing it's a little bit more short printed, and I do like Malik Beasley um, as that sort of, that score in the future. Uh, Sam Darnold, I just realized it's, uh, it's got the wrong, got the wrong label. I didn't even see that in the... Um, in the listing, but $75 for this one. PSA 9 field level. These are super undervalued. Like any field, any field variation for football is undervalued in my opinion. Um, uh, I think I, I did a comment on another YouTuber's video, but fields, fields in football run at 10% more of the price than prison PSA 10s. So field PSA 10s versus um, prison PSA 10s. Um, but when you go to when you go to basketball and go to the comparable levels um, with court sides, court sides actually run at four times the price. So how does something go ten percent more when in basketball it goes four times the price? So I think that's a little bit wrong there, and I think that select field levels are supremely undervalued. Um, and yeah, I'll be looking at the big name players, of course. But yeah, something I'd be looking out for. All right, so another noir. Beautiful patch, absolutely beautiful patch. Like I, I just, I actually love this set. It's ridiculous. Um, this one was, I got this one really expensive. What did I get it for? Um, I got this one for eighty bucks. So, um, yeah, I think it's the, if the, it's probably comped around sixty to seventy bucks. But the patch was so beautiful that I had to overpay for it. And I think I'm just going to keep adding to that, chipping away at that set, eventually. Uh, Robert Williams the third to seventy nine optic. This one I got for 60 bucks, so always looking to add to my Time Lord stash. 
Derek White, Optic Red Yellow, PSA 9. I got these ones for 15 bucks each with a bloke who had a, a massive lot of them on eBay and we were able to work out a deal. All right, so this next order uh, is around six months in the making. So I ordered these around, I reckon around November and ComC just didn't ship them. They shipped it, I think, a month after the actual shipping day. And also, add into that, I paid Express. So it took ages to come in, but it is what it is, really. But we got some Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, a lot of vintage cards. Yeah, I bought in when it was really cheap. Paul Pierce. This is all really planning for future Hall of Fame um, induction or announcements. So um, Vince Carter will probably be another, I think it's another two or three years. And then Paul Pierce, I think, will be next year. I think T-Mac's already in it, but someone that you can, you know, look at long term. Uh, Dirk. Um, I think he's another couple years as well, but um, got, a, got a few of him. But basically got a huge, massive lot of these. Um, the T-Max were around $5 each. I've got the numbers here. Um, the Paul Pierce's were $5 each. The Dirks were $15 each. And the Vince Carters, they were $7 each. So I got them, like I said, at a, low, at a lower price. Um, um, next, some beautiful slabs. So Trey Young... Green Prism, PSA 9. Um, I got this because I looked at market movers and I wanted to buy some more Trey Young with the dip. Um, and I compared his cards to Luca cards and this one was supremely undervalued when, he, when you were looking at the ratios. So I think I got this one for $200 US. Um, we, yeah, which yeah, compared to the Luca Green Prism, PSA 9 is undervalued. Uh, this next one's probably the, the most, honestly, the, one of the most prettiest cards that I've seen. Shout out to Jay. Um, Skolznik, um, if, I'm, if I've said that right, but uh, these are case hits in 2017 Panini Prism. It's a rookie card, stained glass, PSA 9 from Deshaun Watson. Um, you know, I'm not going to comment on what's what's been going on with all the allegations and everything, but uh, I still like Deshaun long term, and I, I um, yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful card. He has a Mahomes one, so I decided I want to get a Deshaun one. This one was 600 bucks, again a case hit, so extremely short printed, but. I really do like this card under the lights, as you guys can see there. It's it really lights up well, so um, definitely a set that you guys should be looking out for. It's not really spoken much about. I know stained glass in, in mosaic is spoken about a fair bit, but so uh, poor Zingus select BGS 9.5. Uh, these ones were $78 each. I have a couple of them. If I can find the other one, that one could probably cross over to a PSA 10. Um, and that one could probably cross over to PSA 10 as well. So that one was $78 each. Um, my man, Casey Okpala, to 85 Optic PSA 9. Uh, this one was 40 bucks. Worth a gamble because I do... I still am a little bit bullish on uh, KZ long term. All right, so I got some baseball now. So these ones were $84 for the two of these. Topps Chrome, Peter Alonso, PSA 9. I don't know too much about baseball, but I did quite well last year buying some... Tatis and Juan Soto and even some Shohei Atani and now I'm just really rolling over the profits and buying some more baseball from some names that I have heard a, a bit about. Uh, Siakam Silver Select PSA 9. This one I got for 50 bucks. He's going to be in a massive dip because obviously the, uh, uh, the Raptors aren't going to make the f playoffs. Uh, so this is one of my last buys before I shipped over but Sabonis to 99 Optic. This one was 60 bucks. Really happy with that as a buy. Nick Claxton to 149 select, 20 bucks for that. And a Malik Monk to 75 Prism. This one was 50 bucks. So a bit of a, I wanted to get like a nice card for Malik Monk because I do think he's going to be someone who could potentially average 20 points per game in the future with playing time. And I think this is a great way to kind of highlight that. Uh, Jalen Brunson, Prism PSA 9. This one was 20 bucks. I got that one quite cheap. DeAndre Aiden, Prism PSA 9. This one was 35 bucks. Um, probably, oh, I got actually got two of them actually, but don't know if I really, it's probably something I'm going to be trying to flip during the playoffs, but probably something, probably more a buy that I don't really wish I got, but can't win them all. All right. To finish off, we got some raw cards here. Um, so I got seven of these herder rookies. I actually got these for, I think it was literally five bucks. It was really unlucky to the auction seller, but that's what happens with lots. Sometimes you can get quite lucky with them. Uh, Lucas Samanich, Concourse, Select Rookie. This one was three bucks. Uh, Mat Madison, um, Gold Laser. This one was five bucks. TJ Hawkinson, Field Level, Select. This one was five dollars. Gardner Minshew, my man. 
uh, prism. Not not that many Gardner Minshews in this in this. Um, well, this is the only one really in this mail day. Um, but this one was five dollars. Denzel Mim, someone I do like really cheap for this season in the NFL. This one was eight dollars. Uh, D.D. Westbrook, I really just got out on a limb and bought this because it was numbered to five, um, and this one was five dollars on auction. So I just I had a snipe at five dollars, and I was like, why not? Um, I know he had an ACL injury, so hopefully he gets over that. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, second year, silver prism. This one was ten dollars. Justin Jefferson to three ninety nine uh, certified. Um, I like how the certified in football are numbered compared to the ones in in, in the NBA, um, but this one was twenty bucks. Lonzo Ball to 125 hoops. This one was 20 bucks as well. DeAndre Aiden, Prism, $15. Alan Lazard uh, to 149 Prism. Has Aaron Rodgers for now throwing the ball to him, so I thought it'd be a great gamble, but this one was $7. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, second year, Optic Hollow. This one was 6 bucks. Kenny Golladay, um, National Treasures, rookie jersey. That one was $10, so I thought it'd be a great buy with Daniel Jones throwing the ball to him. Um, someone I want to be trying to get a little bit more of, Chase Young, gold, orange laser. This one was $25. Bucks. Um, Alexander Madison, Madison uh, to $299, I think. Yeah, to $299 optic. Uh, this one was $10. Bucks. Josh Hart, holo, optic holo. This one was $5. And to finish off, a Randy Arizarena, if I'm saying that right, um, tops card. Got two of them, and they were $10 all up. Um, but yeah, that wraps it up for the video today, guys. Um, so yeah, again, just a mail day of what I've been buying up um, over the past month and a half. Some of them for investment, some of them for my collection, some of them for a quick flip, um, if I see an opportunity for them for eBay. But if you guys enjoy that sort of stuff, let me know down below and make sure you hit the like button and hit subscribe if you're enjoying the sports card content. I'm um, going to have some grading finally returning soon, so stay tuned for that sort of stuff, and I'm going to have a few more giveaways as well for the future for you guys. But as always, guys, I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.